Happy Friday everybody and welcome to this week's edition of Wixology. I'm Juliet Sydney from Bamboo Web Design and I'm looking forward to uh, taking you through uh, to part two of strips this week. This week we'll be looking at adding um, columns to strips and also how to get the most out of your strips in terms of design so that you can design for different screen sizes like tablet, desktop, laptop. Um, I do find this is a common question asked of, from both my clients and the wider Wix community. So I think this will be uh, useful to a lot of people. Um, so if we go to our ad panel again and um, decide to add a strip, um, I'm going to add a, a black strip this week. Uh, just make it a little bit bigger. And to simply um, add a column, I can go to layouts and I can click in here and now I've split that into two panels okay again if I go in here um, I can manage my columns and I can add another column if I change the background of one of my columns let's make this nice sagey green color if I manage my columns again, you'll see that the one that is um, sagey green is highlighted and I can easily move that about to aid my design. OK, so that gives you an idea. Um, the space that we can use um, to design. So probably let's move on to designing for the different screen sizes and I can go back to the space. So let's add in another strip up here. Now, anything that I add in this central column here, and let's add an image. here, make them a little bit smaller, and let's add, let's try a button as well, so I'm going to pop a little button in here, okay, now all these things will show on any screen size from um, tablet to laptop to desktop because they're within these guidelines, if you stay within these guidelines of your design, then you will have no problem in everything shown on different size, screen sizes. So I have this great little um, gadget here, which is called a Windows Resizer. And if I show you how the site would look on, put it on preview, because everything's central, it's all showing nicely on, from a tablet size to a laptop size to a desktop size. If, however, I put something outside these grid lines, then as you will see in preview, because I'm no longer in those spaces, we've lost, they've been chopped off, yeah, for the different designs. So the most easiest thing you can do is to work within those grid lines to make sure everything shows as you would want. Now then, that might be disappointing for some because we don't necessarily want to design a website where we've just got everything centralized. So Wix allows us to play about with where this section shows. So if I pop these back in, at the moment, this section is showing centralized. If I click on layouts, I can move the information to show on the right or on the left. And because it's within this guideline, so you see where the writing is here, that means that will display. And if I click that one on this side, it means that will display. If I now use the different screen sizes, so for example, an iPad, and I preview that, now this is actually displaying despite it being outside of those guidelines in the sort of general sense. So I've shifted them within that strip. And in doing that, that is how you can design a wider style, a full screen appearance. Now then, you've got the same thing going on with um, your 
columns. Wix will give you this section, this section, and this section add up to 980 pixels, okay, which is also what this section adds up to 980. So it will apportion um, an amount of space for you to design in to make sure. So if I add something in here, and I add something in here, and I add something in here, just change that text to white so it shows on that. Now, as long as that in, sits in this in within those guidelines and that sits within those guidelines, then again, when I preview and look at it on a smaller screen, it will all show. Okay. And again, as we did with the other strip, this doesn't have to be centralized within each column. So here we can go to layout. And whilst this is in the center at the moment, we could move it to the right if that was a look we were looking for. So you can see in this way using strips, we can play about with our design to make sure that it is showing across the different screen sizes. Um, now this little gadget, um, as I mentioned earlier, you can add one of these, it's in Google Chrome and under more tools and in extensions, you could just search for window resizer and then set that up. And that's a great little tool when you're trying to design for the different screen sizes. It's always best to check it on, a, on an actual um, gadget as well. But just when you're designing and getting a feel for if something's going to work or not, then um, using the, the Windows Resizer is a great, great place to start. Hopefully um, you found this part two section useful. If you've got any questions um, or you'd like to see other, um, other aspects, elements, um, you've got questions and you'd like to other vid videos, then please reach out and get in touch um, and I'll be happy to do them. Other than that, have an amazing weekend, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Happy weekend, everyone.